HIV AIDS is a global epidemic. Worldwide, the virus kills almost 5,000 people a day. Nowhere is this more startling than in Sub-Saharan Africa, where the infection rate is 60% of the global total. HIV is unlike any other virus for two reasons. One, it mutates in response to our body's attack. And two, it targets, invades, and then destroys the cells of the immune system itself. In developed countries such as the US, HIV can be managed, but only with expensive and complex regimens of antiretroviral drugs taken daily. However, the same drug treatment in underdeveloped countries is near impossible because there is no reliable distribution or patient support infrastructure. This is why hope has been pinned on developing a working antigen-based vaccine for HIV. Antigen-based vaccines work because the immune system has antigen-presenting cells called dendrocytes. Each dendrocyte can identify and categorize individual epitopes. These epitopes are essentially a map which determines where the body's killer T cells attack a virus. Once antigens are introduced into the immune system, they are processed into hundreds of epitopes that provide the immune system with targets. The immune system then attacks all these targets and fights off the virus. Although this approach works, it's not particularly efficient because only one of the hundreds of epitopes provides a relevant target. Unfortunately, HIV is not like other viruses. It not only has the capability to mutate in response to an immune system attack, HIV actually attacks and destroys cells of the immune system. At each location where the immune system attacks, HIV mutates and continues wreaking havoc. This is why developing an HIV vaccine is so difficult. It's been hypothesized there are vulnerable sites on the HIV protein that when attacked would cripple the virus. The problem is not knowing where on the HIV protein to attack, but there is hope. About one in 300 people living with HIV are HIV controllers. These lucky people are functionally immune from developing AIDS. Detailed statistical analysis of blood samples from controllers has allowed researchers to identify targets on the HIV virus preferred by these individuals. Immunity Project is focusing on these targets as the basis for a vaccine design that might be able to turn ordinary people into HIV controllers by causing them to attack the same preferred targets should they become infected with HIV. These epitope targets themselves are extremely small and almost impossible to work with as a basis for traditional vaccines because when injected into the body naked, no immune response occurs. However, Immunity Project's technology encapsulates a payload of HIV controller epitopes inside microspheres with an exact diameter of 11 microns. And it's these epitopes that point to the vulnerable sites on the HIV protein. Once these epitope-packed microspheres are introduced into the body, they cause an immune response with dendrocytes readily engulfing them. Once the epitopes are processed, the immune system has a pinpoint accurate map of where to attack the HIV virus. This functionally duplicates the same targeting ability HIV controllers possess. We created the Immunity Project as a not-for-profit means to move forward with the development of this remarkable new HIV vaccine design. For up-to-date details on our progress and results, visit our blog. Please help us fund our human clinical trial by making a donation now. And together, let's move one step closer to ending HIV-AIDS.